Windows 11 is a great operating system to use, but as stable as it is, it sometimes runs into weird problems. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix the 0x... C0007B error code, which can sound very confusing and complicated, but it's actually pretty simple to fix. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, opening the command prompt. So open up the start menu and search for command prompt and in here, click on the run as administrator option, or you can just right click and click run as admin here. Windows will ask you for some permissions and once you're done, Command Prompt will open with this administrator tab. Now what we're going to do is run the SFC slash scan now command. This system, uh, this command scans your system for broken files like DLLs or anything else that it's missing, downloads them or patches them and gets your system up and running again because these kind of errors usually only happen because of broken system files. If SFC scan now did not work, make sure you restart your computer after you run the command. But if SFC scan now did not work for you, you can try and repair your visual C++ runtimes. How do we do that? Well, the easiest way is to press Windows key plus I and then click on installed apps in the menu that appears. Uh, in here, we're going to scroll down until we find our visual C++ uh, redistributables. So as you can see, I have all the way from 2010 to 2015 to 22 installed on my system in this list you need to make sure that all of your visual c++ redistributables are working as they should easiest way to fix this is find the uh, version that you have or if you have all of them you do this on every one of them one at a time find them go all the way to the right click on more options click on modify and then this setup will appear just go ahead and repair all of the redistributable files and you will be in most cases good to go alternatively you can also update DirectX on your system so the easiest way of doing this is just opening up your web browser and searching for DirectX. Uh, the first link will be from microsoft so DirectX end user runtime web installer and uh, this is it this will install uh, a number of libraries so this will get uh, DirectX 9, DirectX 10, DirectX 11, XAudio, XInput and any other commands or uh, files that you would most probably need downloading this is very easy select the language and just click the download button this web setup will start downloading and this is all that you need to install if uh, you want DirectX 12 for whatever reason, you can also just search for it. So if I go back and I just search for DirectX 12, you will find uh, the DirectX 12 download link uh, right here. There are a bunch of Microsoft community answers which will give you. Uh, so in most cases, having a DirectX installation like the one I saw you will most likely fix these problems. The last solution is a little bit of a technical one because it involves us having to download a tool from Microsoft and then figuring out what exact DLL file or system file is causing the problem. So the first thing to do is that we are going to download the process monitor from Microsoft. So we're just going to look for it and you will find it right in the first link. Just make sure that it's uh, from Microsoft itself and not from a third party website. In here, you can just click on this button to download the process monitor. As you can see, the file has appeared here. We'll save it in my dump folder. Go ahead and click save. And the download is complete. Now I will go back and uh, extract this. So this is process monitor right here. Going to right click, extract all. Just extract it anywhere on your system, doesn't matter. Go into the folder you just extracted and now run procmon.exe. Read the EULA and agree to it. Give it the permissions it needs. And now the process monitor will open up. 
now at this moment it is logging everything that your system is doing so every activity how everything in the background is running what's the result of the process running is the process running fine or not are there any problems with it everything is running properly at the moment other than a few buffer overflow flaws what you need to do is go ahead and click this button to stop the capture or you can go to file and click on capture events and this will pause the capturing now we have to go back and clear all of this so we will be able to do it from uh, the edit menu so clear display now we've gotten rid of every event what you have to do now is restart the logging and uh, run the particular tool that you're looking for all right so once you've cleared up uh, the process monitor we are going to the filter button right here or you can just click the filter icon here and this will open up a new dialog box uh, now when this architecture we're going to select uh, process name is and then this is where you're going to add your process and this process will be the executable file of whatever process is causing problems on your system whatever program you're trying to run and you're getting this error so uh, make sure you include that here so for example if i click add and this just shows up here this is obviously not correct so uh let's say i'm looking for problems in epic games launcher.exe then i can click add click apply click ok and now we can go back and resume the capture as you can see currently there are no events because epic games launcher is not running so i will go ahead and launch it this is just an example that i'm using of course uh, you might be experiencing problems with a different app so whatever program that you're facing problems with add that here and then launch it and as you can see we have a bunch of different uh, results here from running the epic games launcher what we are looking for is these name not found uh, entries so sometimes you will run into dll files like this for if i zoom in here you will see that wow 64 log.dll uh, gives the name not found error and because of that uh, we can't really launch the program properly and are running into this error so uh, if it's once or twice and the program is running fine uh, you don't need to worry about that particular dll file but if it's reoccurring and it's causing the program to bog up then it's an issue um in any case so we're going to look at uh, name not found name not found name not found name not found so go through this list find uh, any instances of a dll file or something like that which is causing these problems then you're going to have to delete those dll files from wherever they're located on the system uh, the tool does show you the path right here so you can very quickly just go to that path or you can right click and then copy the highlight copy the path from here and then go paste it in file explorer find those dll files delete them then you can either get the dll files themselves most probably they'll be directx dll files so you can just reinstall directx and you should be good to go but in any case uh, your job becomes to get those dll files back into your system uh, either via reinstalling the program that's causing the problems or by uh, um, getting the dll files themselves or if they're a windows file like directx or a visual c plus plus runtime distribution file by reinstalling those particular components and the error should be gone and that's how easily you can fix this problem on windows 11 if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video